Okay, let's get to the core of it right away. How does corporate money create a corruption in the electoral system? What it does, it, it, it works to corrupt the electoral system in two ways. One, there is the reality that they move the needle. If the needle of, of political direction changes, not from a desire of the people, but from a desire of the big corporate givers, I think that is corruption. When a big check is more important than a new idea, I think that's corruption. Number two, it corrupts the system in terms of perception. If people think that politicians want to get reelected more than anything else, and if their reelection is dependent on the contributions of big checks from the few very wealthy and very corporate givers, then the public's perception is who cares about politics? They're corrupt. And when the public decide that, they leave the capital, they leave the debate, they leave the revolution, they stay home. And that's what's happening in America both the reality of moving the needle, not based on the people's will, but on the special interest will, and the perception so that the average guy, the average woman who builds the country, starts small business, makes America a decent place, drop out, don't participate, don't vote, or allow corruption to proceed. Those are the two evils of special interest dominated political giving.